What's up everybody? I'm going to do a really quick video on how to install this uh, winter mod for Stalker Gamma. Uh, this is the one that I use. Uh, I'm not really sure if anybody else has um, a more updated version than this one, but uh, the last time it was updated was 2021 in February. Not sure if it's like finished for sure or if it needs another update. But um, I ran into a few different issues with this, but it does work. So first things first, you're going to want to go to ModDB and um, type in yet another winter mod version 2.2 and just hit download now. I'll leave the link for this down in the description below. What you're going to do is go here and this is install a new mod from an archive. And you'll click that, and you'll find yet another winter mod, version 2.2. And you'll click that and click open. And you'll have this, uh, if you don't have this message, then skip this uh, method. But this is what I'm having to do, because this is popping up. But um, what I did to try to fix this is you right click on anomaly. Create directory, and you're going to set game data as the directory name. And then we're going to end up dragging this whole file into the game data file. So you're going to untick this because this is just a readme text. This fog fix is for DX8 users only. I'm not on DX8, so I take that off. This next one is uh, compatibility patches. If you're running any of these um, shaders or other mods here, then you can choose the one accordingly. So it tells you down here to only install one. So if you're using um, minimal FX, only have one ticked, but I have none. So at least I don't think I do. So I leave them all unticked. And then the second slider here, this is Snowfall Choices. So you're going to choose accordingly. And remember, you can only install one. So untick that. It's just a text. Untick uh, all the ones that you're not going to use and only leave the one that you're going to use. So for me, I use this medium one. I don't really mind the Snowfall too much. Uh, I'm sure this heavy one looks really nice. So that's it for that. And this first slider. This is everything you need right here. So leave all of this ticked on. So now you'll only see that I have this first file completely tabbed and the second file I only have one tabbed. So now you can collapse that, grab yet another winter mod and throw it into game data. So now it's only like this. And then from there, you'll click OK. I already have mine installed down here on the very bottom. It's right here. And if you don't do it that method, the way that what was happening to me was it would say there's missing game data. And I think the reason why is because for all of these mods, it says game data, game data, game data. So all these ones work if it's just a game data folder. But for yet another winter mod, it was only this. So I don't think it was able to read that well. I'm not too sure. I just found that that worked for me. But uh, yeah, you can close that, tick it on, and then you can try to run it. Rookie Village. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so this is the way it's gonna look when you guys play it. Um, I still need to test out different uh, scenarios. Places of rain and or snow, you know, but I need to see how this works with all the different um, weather conditions because I know that 
I was having issues with this mod before. Um, it's not perfect, but I don't think I've seen any winter mod um, videos on YouTube. So I hope this gives you guys the chance to be able to play it like this um, for now until we can get uh, this mod updated. Um, but for now, this looks great. So I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take it easy.